after uh, making the how-to video to custom fit your SKS uh, drum magazine I've had a multitude of requests to help people out with these cheap um, stick magazines so there is definitely an issue I mean obviously if you have failures to feed or failures to eject it'll be in in this vicinity and I want you to go and watch the uh, video I made uh, for how to custom fit your SKS drum and it will address these issues of fitting the magazine into your SKS and addressing the failures to feed and the failures to eject uh, this video is going to pertain to another problem that seems to be more prevalent with these cheap magazines uh, in that you get maybe 15 bullets in and then you can't get any more. There seems to be an issue. Um, there, there, it just happened then. I put about 15 in. Now watch. Oh, she just fell out. Let me see if I can get it to replicate that problem. Yeah, there it is. Okay, see? I pushed it down as though, as though I were loading more. And we got loose bullets here. Um, the reason for this is, is part way down. See how they're getting stuck? I replicate it again. So here's what's happening. As the bullets are coming up, they're getting on a diagonal. And they're hanging at this point right here on this curve. Where they folded the two pieces of me uh, sheet metal over and spot welded it the inside piece we need to file it down so that as it comes up when it gets into this first part of the curve area that the bullets have enough clearance that they can make it run on that curve and that's what your problem is see now let me show you you see exactly what I mean and there you have it you've got two, you've got two bullets one bullet down in there hanging up the follower and that causes the rest of the bolts to fall out so we have to as I said file down the inside so we can make enough clearance in there and let's proceed with that okay now that we've got all the bolts removed I'm sure you know how to do this but for those that may not this little button right here needs to be depressed Actually, sometimes you need to give it a little, move this bottom plate. There we go. Press it down. Press, slide this back. Put your finger in here to hold the floor plate. And slowly remove your spring and follower. All right, now put these out to the side. Actually, no, let's, let's address this piece here first. Because it's such a tight fit in there, and you saw the bullets, we're also going to have the same issues poss possibly with the follower. All these sharp edges, actually when you look at it, you can see where it's been rubbing. Uh, so what you need to do is take your sandpaper or a file, and all these sharp edges that are going to come in contact when that follower comes up, right here, right here, right here, right here, and around here, round them all off. So we don't want any sharp edges that are give anything uh, give any place to hang up and that will also alleviate some of this uh, the issues that we're having now as to the file you really need a sharp file for this and the reason is is because most of our work is going to be done out here on the tip as we're reaching down inside so we're not getting the same amount of pressure as you would if you're right here by the handle pushing down now we're pushing out here uh, so a sharp file is going to make a, a whole lot of difference in how much time you're going to be doing this. Alright, next thing is, you're going to notice, is there's a lot of paint in there, overspray, up inside. That also is not helping this situation whatsoever. So we need to sand all that paint out of there as well. And of course, the main problem is the amount of, is the amount of material where you can see where they folded over the two halves and spot welded them. We need to we need to grind that down and we can't grind it so we're gonna have to use a file. Um, there, there's a good shot of it there. So in any case this is what we need to deal with. 
and a sharp file is going to make all the difference in the world and you're gonna spend 15 or 20 minutes you're gonna spend quite some time doing this and again off from this side do the same thing you're concentrating mostly in this curve in this first part of the curved area right here once it gets down into here in the bottom half it starts straightening out a little bit more and doesn't seem to have so much trouble internally all right you can see <clears throat> you can see where I've filed this down considerably uh, you see this curved edge right here this is where your problem mainly is I found your point of your bullet is uh, gonna get stuck in that curve because the curve makes it a little shorter than the uh, square box side over here that curve is your issue you have to lean heavy with your file in there and run a rat tail file down in here all right we're gonna rest this aside now you've got the idea actually no let me show you I've also taken a piece of 60 grit and I wrapped it around my file and because it's tapered it slides on there nicely and after you've after you've uh, filed away enough material that your bullets are actually able to load now without hanging up halfway down here where they were uh, then we got to go in and clean it up so it's nice and smooth and I do the same thing of course with this as I said this 60 grit 80 grit will work and do the same thing and if you can't reach the very tip you can also do this slide this off a little bit so that it bends like that and now you've got pressure on the very tip as well you've got sandpaper on the very tip there as well any case you get the idea so well, we're gonna move now over to another magazine that I've already completed okay I have used the file and removed a considerable considerable amount of material off that edge there and again off from the bottom side working up so at this point now I've like I said I've moved removed quite a bit I think it's a good time to see if we can test fit in some of the in so, some of the rounds without it hanging up insert this insert this little end with the 90 degree bend in the hole of the follower put the follower inside feed your parts and pieces up or your spring up inside I mean take the little plate put it there inside hold it with your finger and now slide on the floor plate and don't get your finger cut and don't get your finger cut in there I'm not gonna put it on all the way that's good enough test your test your follower make sure she's moving softly or smoothly all right now the test is to see if we can load bullets without the bullets being an issue and hanging up again so let's see I can feel we're at the curve I can feel the re difference in the resistance that tells me I'm gonna want to take just a little bit more off yeah they're feeling loose again so I'm not quite there yet but it is better I'm actually getting bullets to load see now they're loose again there they go that means it's stuck it's hanging up I still haven't removed enough material however I am definitely getting past it and it looks like the more bullets you put in you can get past it you don't have that problem nope it still has the problem see so there you go we gotta do some more and let's look down the side see again and there you have it it's the brass it's the brass uh, round that's uh, hanging up and you can see where the point is just touching the inside of that curve and look at the angle of this follower you'll notice this one's tilted more up on an angle which is going to aid in getting those bullets uh, hung up inside there this one here I've adjusted down so it's a little bit more uh, level towards the feed lips I'll show you how to do that in a moment 
but that's another issue that you must be aware of. Okay, so remove the follower. <coughs> Excuse me. Remove the follower, and you'll see this part of the spring where it clips in to the top of the follower to hold it in place. What you want to do is take it and bend it upwards, change the angle, feed it back into the hole, and that's going to force it to throw the rear end of the follower upwards more. Oops. And go ahead and put it back into your magazine. And you've effectively changed the angle here slightly. So that also is something that you must be aware of. Okay, let's load it up and see if it'll hold bullets without hanging up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 11, 12, 13, 14, this is where it starts hanging up, 15, 16, 17, no resistance at all, 18, 19, 20, just the increasing resistance of the spring being compressed, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, oh, that's good enough. Alright, there you go. It's, it's taking bullets now. Not hanging up. Let's see if we can get them out of here without it hanging up. Usually if it loads, it will unload. Looks to me like the problem solved, gentlemen. There you go. Problem solved. Again, if you have any problems with the gun fitting, or the mag, excuse me, the magazine fitting into your gun, uh, failures to feed, failures to eject, um, or if the bullets are pointing a little too upwards, you need to adjust your follower you can also take the feed lip and grab it here and bend it down downward like this that will also make it point downwards a little bit do the same thing to this side you basically are just going to have to help the fit and finish a little bit but uh, they are repairable so if you run into a mag that hangs up which so many guys I've seen complaining uh, are telling me that their mags are hanging up after halfway uh, loading them. That is your problem. So, good luck and good shooting to you. Enjoy.